I'll talk about this briefly. I'm talking in multiple segues now because I want to. You have authority to lead people two ways, and only two. So the first one is through violence and fear, right? So you can lead people if they're forced to be led by you. Your boss, in many circumstances, leads you through the fear of firing you, yeah? Your parents at points in your life have led you because you have to fucking obey them or they would spank you or take your money away or whatever. Yeah? Now, this is not the way we want to operate with women, right? We can't force them or make them afraid of us uh, into wanting to follow us. So, the second way that you have authority to lead, can you guess what it is? To serve. To serve. <laughs> Interesting. It's a paradox. It sounds, it sounds like, you know, the slogan for a, a fire department. We lead to serve. What? Okay. You have authority to lead people when they benefit from following you. Do you understand that? Yeah? Because if you make a leadership request, you ask for, for a woman's compliance. And she doesn't feel like she's going to benefit from that she will deny that request. 